All right, what's up guys? Simon from Bramus.com. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how I created this green screen behind me. And let me show you something. And there we go, it's, it's gray. It was green before, I could turn it any color. Uh, if you ever used a green screen before or needed to use a green screen for your videos, you know a green screen, you need a lot of lighting uh, to make it work very well. And you need to be pretty far away from it or else you'll have spill on your subject and that will make it really hard to uh, key out the green in post. Um, I saw this before, this is not my invention. I saw this before, this is an old concept. Uh, the way it works, it uses a retro reflective material like this one. And the way these material work is that if you shine a light to it, it will reflect it directly back to the source. It doesn't matter which angle it is. Uh, when a light shines on this, it will reflect the light directly back to where it came from. Um, kind of like what you see in safety vests and stuff like that. Now with that in mind, if you shine a ring of LEDs, let's say green LEDs, that are positioned around your camera lens, you shine it on this, it's gonna reflect the green directly back to the lens and the lens will see green. So if you need a green screen, this is a great option. Now, of course, uh, you see it now, it's green because the LEDs are lit green, uh, but you could do a blue screen just by lighting the LEDs blue. Uh, so you could light this background in any color you want. Uh, so you're not limited to only green, which is pretty cool too. All right, so the first thing I did is on my 3D printer, I uh, printed a little circle that would hold those LED rings. And the LED rings you can find on AliExpress or eBay. And these comes like four connected together and you just twist them off and I needed, I kept the two bigger ones uh, that would fit well around the lens of my camera. Uh, once that was done, flipped it over, connected the five volt ground and digital pin because I'm gonna use an Arduino Uno to actually light them up green. Uh, these are typical WS 2812 uh, LEDs. So they're easily controlled by an Arduino. So now I had the LED ring mounted and I could light it anytime I wanted to uh, shoot a video like you could see here. The hardest thing about this project is actually finding the material. The material is hard to find because they don't typically sell large pieces of material, retro, uh, retro reflective materials. Uh, I did get lucky though, I'm from Canada and somebody on eBay in Canada was actually selling this type of material and it was selling 36 inches wide by whatever length you wanted. Uh, so basically I bought five yard of it and I put it behind me like this, as you can see with magnets and because this is supposed to be sewed in a fabric or something like that, like a curtain. Uh, I don't have sewing skills, so I use magnets to actually connect everything. And this is what you see right here at this moment. So now the LEDs are off, so the uh, material looks gray. So now I'm gonna light up the LEDs and you're gonna see right away it's gonna go green. So let me do that. There we go. And boom. So basically the camera sees green, but if I look behind me, it, it to me it's still gray. But the camera, since the light is coming di directly from there, the green is reflected back directly to the lens. And there you go, that's the green screen that I'm gonna use from now on when I do videos. Now the big, uh, the big thing about this green screen is that the closer I am to it, the better it is. Unlike the typical green screen, the further you are away from it, it's better. So if you have a small space, this is a great way to go. Uh, so there you go guys, that's the video for today. Uh, don't forget, go to my website, I have uh, the connection, the little piece of code that connect, that turns the uh, LED greens, uh, green and all the links and all that, so I invite you guys to check that out if you want to make your own at home. Uh, so that'll do it for today, guys. I have another project that I did uh, that will be coming up very shortly. It's done. I just need to shoot it. So uh, stay tuned for that one, too. And uh, as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.